Hey guys, what's up? Then here with a new video. Welcome to the first farming strategy for the 3.25 league. We're gonna take a look at the loot from 50 maps that were ran with Blight in a simple setup, scoured maps, guys. You only need a character that's able to complete tier 16 maps using the Cassia Sprite node. You're gonna have uh, towers that deal a lot of damage and complete the Blight encounters without any issues. My character is a bare bones setup of only one divine. I don't think I uh, have uh, more than 1 million, 1 1.2 million POB DPS and that's with all buffs up and I was still able to complete these blight encounters and make around 6 divines profit per hour. The potential of this farming strategy is at around 8 divines profit per hour if you have a fast character. In my case we managed to make around the 6 divines profit per hour but that's because I also experimented a little bit with uh, different playstyles. So at the end of the video you're gonna get 3 map showcases, a blight rush setup, a partial clear setup where we clear some monsters along the way and then we complete the blight encounter and you're also gonna get uh, the full map clear setup. I found a map which gave me grand eldritch embers so I had to fully run the map. But if you're gonna focus on the blight rush setup, as long as you're able to sell your blighted maps, which you should be able to without any issues at least in the following days. You're gonna be able to consistently make anywhere from 5 up to 8 divines profit per hour and of course later in the league once the incandescent imitations, the deception contracts, the blueprints and the currencies are gonna start becoming a bit more expensive, you're gonna be able to quite easily make 10 divines profit per hour which is quite insane guys, quite insane considering the fact that we're running scour maps, zero investment guys. But at this point in the league we're only able to make around 6 divines profit per hour with current prices. Let's take a quick look at the Atlas skill tree. Ok boys and here's the passive skill tree we are fully specced into blights with the exception of this node, blight spawn, which makes blight encounters in your maps a one lane guarded only by blight bosses. So it's extremely dangerous, I can't finish the blight encounters on this really low budget one divine uh, minion army league starter if I'm gonna take blight spawn. Once you have 5 maybe 10 million dps then sure you can go for a blight spawn as well. Besides that I am going for heist contracts and the blueprints and we have a shaper elder conqueror synthesis maps and we also have some scarabs. It's the same atlas skill tree that I've shown you in the previous video. The strategy for these maps is really simple. We go inside the map, we shield charge as fast as we can, we complete the blight encounter, we shield charge some more, we take down the map boss then we open a portal and we go run another map. It's a pretty simple farming strategy, uh, blight rushing map. Let's take a quick look at the loot that I managed to get in 50 tier 16 maps. We have uh, four exalts, a lot of other currencies, a few currencies from the altars. We have uh, stack decks, fossils, essences. We have all sorts of scarabs, deception contracts, blueprints only included the deception contracts here. We have a Shaper, Elder, Conqueror, Synthesis maps, we also have tier 17 maps and um, there seems to have been a change to the types of maps that were dropping, especially with the buff that you're getting after you're completing a Blight, some of your maps are gonna get converted to Blighted maps. So compared to the previous league where we used to drop only tier 13 to tier 16 Blighted maps, this league we are also dropping lower tiers as you guys can see here, we have uh, yellow maps, we have tier 5, tier 3s. And we also have a few uh, tier 12s as well, but everything is gonna be accounted for once we get to the spreadsheet. Besides that, we have some tier 16 maps, we have uh, some oils here, two unique maps, we found uh, some uh, fragments over at city. Of course, we have the oils since we're farming blights. And we have uh, two lucky big drops, a despair, 2120, 60 70 chaos right now. Of all those uh, puzzle box, which is around 0.6 divines. And I also found this, which is a tier 2 fracture, which is around 100 chaos, maybe 1 divine. I have included it in the spreadsheet as 100 chaos. This is all the loot that we managed to get in these 50 maps. Now, let's take a quick look at the spreadsheet. And uh, here are the numbers. 1 divine is 151 chaos. Total divines from currencies, uh, 6 divines. We have uh, 4 divines from essences, fossils, scarabs, tombs, the oils and a few other things here. We also have uh, maps and invitations at uh, 5.86 divines and our lucky drops, big drops at around 2 divines. This is our investment and our profit per hour right here. 
So we have invested 1.4 divines and our profit per hour is at around 6 to maybe 7 divines of profit per hour. It took me around 3 minutes on average to complete these maps but I have also experimented a little bit uh, with uh, uh, fully running maps which is closer to 4, 4.5 minutes, partially clearing maps which is 3.5, 4 minutes. If you're gonna blight rush you're gonna be able to farm them in around 2.5, 3 minutes right so go inside the map, shield charge. Complete the blight encounter, shield charge again, take down the mapos, and then open a portal and go run another map. This farming strategy is gonna be advertised as a 6 divines per hour one, but you're gonna be able to, even at this point, make around 8 divines profit per hour if you're gonna run them on a capable build, maybe if you're gonna hulk and chisel your maps, and if you're gonna experiment a little bit with the scatters. This is the first farming strategy that we have uh, taken a look at on this channel and considering the fact that we're running scour maps and we're able to make 6 divines profit per hour in a league in which a lot of players are complaining that they're not able to make a good currency, I would say that we did okay. So if you're struggling and if you have a capable build, at least capable enough to clear some uh, packs along the way in scour tier 16 maps, then use Cassia's Pride, use some arc towers, use some meteor towers maybe some flamethrower towers and you're gonna be able to complete these the tier 16 blight encounters without any issues. A lot of work went into making this video, help your boy out, drop a like and a sub, check the pinned comment, you have some really nice links there, you also have a, a full blight guide, every tower explained how to run these blight encounters and uh, you're gonna be able to complete them a lot easier now since we have a Cassia sprite. If you have some questions maybe regarding the build, maybe regarding the other farming strategies that we're gonna take a look at on this channel in 3.25, uh, then you can join the casual Dan Discord, links in the pinned comment uh, as well. What am I gonna do with this currency? Well guys, it's time to get some flask, it's time to upgrade the build a little bit, <laughs> time to fix some resistances, some stats, because the character is in a bare bone setup, but still we were able to farm some 316 blights, we were also able to uh, get level 93, so... I had a lot of fun running these maps and I would say that I made quite decent currency. So if you're struggling, if you need a little bit of uh, currency, then check the pin comment, Atlas uh, skill tree there, copy it, go run some tier 16 and start making 5 to maybe 8 divines profit per hour and of course later in the league once uh, these invitations and the currencies and contracts become a bit more expensive then you're gonna be able to make 10 divines profit per hour by running scoured maps. Catch you guys in the next one and good luck in 3.25. Bye guys. Light is trying to spread! It's branching, Exile! Light is trying to spread!
Too much clutter. I need more mana. Purification pump. You're making me nervous. Ready and not before. 